welcome to the roast of Ryan Harrow. I'm the producer of the evening show, Grits, as some people like to call me. And we're here today as a family to shit all over you, Ryan. Ryan, you've been the host of the evening show for nearly a year now, and you're most likely going to be the next producer. But Ryan, you've turned into a real cocky shit lately. Actually, all of you have turned into real cocky shits lately. The whole evening show, they, you're all dressed up very nicely, didn't I? That's because I told you to. <laughs> Remember who has the power. You're all just my little puppets with my hands shoved so far up your asshole you don't even know what's gonna happen to you next. I'm into that. Remember that, Ryan. So our first roaster tonight is Katrina Kapranica. Kat, I've known you ever since you first came to OU. And, you know, since I've known you so long, I can honestly tell you I know you only wear those glasses so you don't seem like a stupid sorority girl. I know you're trying to convince everyone else you know how to read, but you're not fooling me. But it's a good thing you know how to talk, so you can roast our lovely host, Roasty. I don't know. Get on up here, Kat. Give him, oh give, give him a good roasting. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here. Um, uh, I was actually a little worried before I came uh, about the fact that I'm not wearing a bra, but then I got here and felt a little better because uh, neither is Grits. Except it looks like he's a little colder than I am. <laughs> uh, so it's also dad's weekend, and my dad was here last night, but he's not here today. So, uh, Nathan, do you think you could be his replacement? I mean, you're not quite Delphi, but you look like you might have reached retirement. So, uh, I often like to think of myself, actually, as the sex appeal of the show. But last week, I learned otherwise when Nathan made a joke that Delaney should make out with me, and Delaney really firmly said no, which... I thought was striking, coming from a girl who dates a girl that wears a fedora and spends her Friday nights writing fanfiction because she isn't getting laid. So, Emily I found, you know, rather hard to roast because we are, we're really so, like, we're the same person, it's amazing. Uh, with the only difference being I'm into football players and she's into Chad from Theta Beta Eta Phi Phi Fo Fum and, you know, like the same guy that puts the roofies in the girls' drinks? Uh, <laughs> And that leads me to Ryan. I'm actually really like interested to see what he's bringing to the table today. Um, I'm interested to see if it's going to be his own material or if he's going to continue to quote every comedian ever. Um, maybe if he knew uh, exercise routines, like he knew other comedians' material, he wouldn't have such high blood pressure. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Katrina, that was great. Now on to my third favorite director I've worked with here on the evening show, Emily Thompson. When you became director, I was so proud of you. You know, I, I really admire you and the work you've done for the show and just how much effort you put in. I just really wish you had the talent to back it up. Okay. Okay. Let's start off with Nathan. I know you're a freshman, but if we looked at your style and that hair, you know, we compared you to my father, I don't think we'd be able to tell which one was the 50-year-old man. We can, however, tell that Delaney's gay. We can tell this because she talks about it all the time. <laughs> For someone who's gay, she also talks about One Direction all the time, which it either means that One Direction is all secretly girls, or Delaney's trying to cover up that she's secretly straight. Oh. However, Kat <laughs> is definitely not trying to cover up <laughs> that she's straight. <laughs> In fact, Kat and I are often bond over our host stories, and uh, when I was trying to figure out which one of us was the bigger home, I remembered that Kat made four of her high school football team go to <laughs> one. Now, uh, Grits. He didn't turn into a hoe, but his daddy issues are equally, if not more, prominent. Which is probably why he's leaving this family after this semester, and why he hates when we call him daddy. The benefit is, unlike Grits, this show will be fine without a dad. <laughs> right? You know, we're all very thankful that you finally shaved that beard off. Now maybe people will stop confusing you with the fatter Michael Sarah. <laughs> oh, I believe that was great. Yeah, Katrina, once you go D1, it's really hard to go back to under eight inches. <laughs> Nathan, oh Nathan, the freshman of the family. Let's just get this out of the way right now. Nathan, I'm pretty sure you're not actually going bald. I'm pretty sure you are shaving your head like that on purpose and feeding your hair to the local middle schoolers to build up an army. And I'm pretty sure you like sneak into our rooms or something to try and like feed hair to us, like get us to join your army or something, and it freaks me out. But you're part of the show, get on up here, buddy. Alright. It's time to get back in your fucks. To begin with, let's start with Delaney, the gayest of the bunch. 
You roast yourself internally more than any of us ever could, despite the fact that the only thing wrong with you is that you leave parties early like a big weenie. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's go on to Katrina, uh, the resident hoe, other than Emily. <laughs> Katrina, you're always on that hoe shit, which I encourage. One of these days you're gonna get AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> we have very similar glasses frames, which isn't really a roast, I just want to say, Hey girlfriend, I see you. Okay, now it's now we're on to, to Daddy Grits. Oh, Alright Grits, you always wear t-shirts that show your nips, and I always feel like they're staring at me. And now it's time for me to roast the crew. If there was a most likely to end up holding a boom mic over foot fetish porn category in high school yearbooks, your picture would be next to him every single year. And Emily. Uh, as a director, you don't have a clapperboard, which is one of these things. And that's, you just trace your position by not having one of those. <laughs> Ryan, you're a weird middle ground between skinny and very fat. And it keeps me up at night sometimes. Your old beard looked like someone covered your face in glue and then threw the hair Donald Trump grows on his nipples at you. <laughs> you insist on calling yourself poor man Stephen Colbert, except your ears are fucked up, only your eyes. Thank you, Nathan. That was just glorious. Thank you for that. Now on to Delaney. Oh, Delaney. Delaney, you are so gay. Once you got onto the show, you once told me if I ever write you as a straight character, you were going to quit. Which I really think is Delaney just telling me in her own weird way that she doesn't know how to be an actor. Without further ado, please welcome Delaney Murray. I was the last person to roast. Nathan, let's start with you. Nathan, you look like a renaissance painting of an aristocrat in the sense that it was done by someone who only had a vague idea of what human proportions looked like and did not have enough time to get the job done. Your sexuality confuses me more than my own at 13. <laughs> Katrina. Katrina, the first time I met you, I had a visceral fear reaction to you, mostly because you looked like the conglomerate of every girl that ever bullied me in school. <laughs> But now, I like you, Katrina. But now, like, you just look like the conglomerate of every straight woman I've ever seen in a lesbian form. Uh, Emily. Emily is our new director, which is funny because the first time she walked into this room, I thought she was a Pinterest blogger who got lost out of the way to her homemade uh, engagement photo shoot. Uh, in case you don't know what a homemade engagement photo shoot is, that's when you try to take the pictures and be in them at the same time. Uh, it doesn't work just like all of Emily's relationships. <laughs> uh, and now for our major action of the night, Ryan Hera, our host. Uh, I've known Ryan for a year. Uh, in that time, I've touched his ass probably about a dozen times, and each time was a new rediscovery of my own homosexuality. <laughs> um, Ryan Hera speaks and looks like every slightly annoying but ultimately forgettable middle-aged man who stood in front of you at Kroger. He's disappointed that his coupon for frozen pizza has just expired. Um, Ryan wears a suit every time he does this show, and every time he does, I just think he looks like he just arrived at his high school reunion in 25 years, and he's trying not to listen to the people behind him who are saying, Did you see Ryan Harrow? Jesus, he got fat! <laughs> Ryan, well, we've been taking a lot of shots at you tonight. It's time for you to take your shots at us. Um, real quick before I bring you up, you know, I just want you to know I'm I'm very proud of what you've done on the show, and it's important for me to let you know that I truly think of you as the Ann Coulter of comedy. Oh. Welcome to the host of the evening show, Ryan Hayroff. Come on up here, buddy. Oh man, what a roast, what a roast. It's been great to sit in that chair and get constant reminders of why I'm the host and not any of you. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you, Grits, Grits, you've been doing a great job as host tonight. For anyone in the audience who might not know, Grits actually was the original host of the evening show. Uh, and as you can see from his hosting skills, it wasn't hard for me to get his job. <laughs> Grits is a senior in college who only declared his major last year, which means much like when he was in the pilot for the show, his career is going to crash and burn. I'll tell you, Grits, you're, you're something else. But let's not focus on him. <laughs> you know, this is my last season as the host of the evening show. I am confident, though, in who I'm leaving it with. I'm confident that this show is going to continue its high standards of creative integrity, openness, and at least one reference to Delaney's lesbianism per episode. <laughs> I swear, Delaney, Ellen DeGeneres doesn't talk about being gay as much as you, and she has her own show. <laughs> You're like an eighth grader, Delaney. You have no social skills, no self-confidence, and you constantly talk about sex despite never getting any. <laughs> I, I almost felt bad in roasting you like this, but I mean, you kind of you hate yourself anyway, so what can I really do? Katrina, 
We didn't hire you for the show with the intent of making you our official eye candy, but I'm happy that you took that job in stride. <laughs> you bring more than warm hugs and horny dudes to the YouTube show. <laughs> you also bring some of the weirdest acting habits I've ever seen in my life. Katrina, though, was actually a little bit of a star before she came to the evening show. Uh, she has a YouTube video that I just checked before coming up. Currently has 20,000 views. It's a video of herself in 8th grade peeling a banana with her feet. 20,000 views from a bunch of perverts, and only 400 of them came from Nathan. I don't mean to imply that you're a creepy dude, Nathan. I mean, your beard and your receding hairline do that for me. I mean, Jesus, man, you look like you drank out of the wrong grave of the Last Crusade. You're such Every time I talk to you, I expect you to shout, Shazam! and turn back to someone actually your age. Yeah. I will say, though, that as I leave as host, I'm very... Very proud of all the people in our crew, all the people working behind the cameras, and not just Emily the Ho. <laughs> I'm telling you, they, they, do, they do some great work for us. They produce this show the way it is, and what I'd like to think it is, is a hard-fought, hard-won, student-run rip-off of The Late Show, <laughs> starring me, the very poorest of mans, Stephen Colbert. So thank you very much.